Hi, this is John Lewis with my website mentor.com. This is a bloom trigger on click tutorial. So, if you ever wondered how to create a call to action with uh, Divi and Bloom and then have an opt in box pop up like so, I'm going to show you in this video. So, first, what we're going to do is we're going to act like we're creating a page just to save time. We'll just kind of start with this one here. But um, normally, you just go add new page. Or if you already have a page going, then you just go to your call to action button or whatever button you have there. So, um, but we're gonna just go go ahead and go to this page, um, so I don't have to go through the whole um, the whole process. But what we're gonna do is we'll just uh, I'll just start from the very beginning here. So when you um, create a new page, you call it whatever you want to, whatever. Uh, you're gonna click Insert Module. And then we're going to do the call to action button here. And so what I'm going to do here is just, we'll just say, hey, get free stuff. And for the button URL, we don't want it to actually go anywhere. So we're just going to put the hashtag here. And then and the button, we can call it whatever we want to. I'm going to put click here. And then what we're going to do is go over to custom CSS and for CSS class we're going to put um, trigger underscore pop up okay and then we're going to click save and exit and then we're going to update So this is going to give us our call to action, which we can center this. Let's do that really quickly because that looks looks kind of doesn't look too nice. Well, I can hear and so the left line. We're going to just go ahead and click center and then save and exit, and we should be ready to go now. View page, and there we go. So the next part, what we need to do is create an opt-in. I already created one here, but um, I'll just create the same one all over again. We'll just go ahead and delete that, and then we're going to go new opt-in and click on pop-up, and we'll call this trigger test. And then you select your prov email provider. I'm using MailChimp with this one. And then you select your account, select whatever list you want it to go on. Um, and so, whatever. Then, what we're going to do is next design. And let's just go with the generic one here. And next, customize. If you want to get really serious, you can go in here and um, go crazy, switch out images and different colors, change your title of the uh, opt-in box and uh, the information uh, below the title there. You could select the background colors and uh, fonts and say if you want squared corners, round corners, no borders, borders, uh, all sorts of different settings in here we can play with. But again, for the sake of time, we're not going to mess with that. This just to show you how the uh, on-click thing works. So we're going to click on uh, next display settings, and here we're going to unclick this one, unclick this because we don't want it to pop up randomly unless you wanted to. I mean, it could you could have it do that, but uh, we're not going to. We're going to do trigger on-click. We're going to go ahead and click that box, and then we're going to go dot. And the same thing we put over there, only difference is we have the dot in front of it. So it's dot trigger underscore pop up. And that way I don't have to write it, type it out. So there it is. And let's say we want it on pages, we want it wherever we can have it on everything. If you're going to have the same call to action all over the place, you can do that. Um, depends on whatever you're doing. So then we'll go save and exit. Once we go back to our call to action here, 
we can click on it, test it out, and ta-da, there it is. So hopefully that helps you with that. Um, if you'd like more information about uh, Bloom or uh, email opt-ins or making landing pages, any of those kind of things, go ahead and click the link in the description, and I'll uh, give you a, a page that has all the information of uh, how to create landing pages with Divi and uh, creating email opt-ins. So I'll just have a list of tutorials that I have for you. All right, so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like button, uh, share it, comment. If you have other questions, you can go ahead and comment. Um, I use your comments to help me create more tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.